Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the next lesson in learning in learning Arabic uh, letters or alphabet or learning the qaida uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting lesson because in this one I'm going to show you how different letters change their shapes uh, change their shape in uh, in Arabic text such, such as Quran. So all the English speakers know that uh, when you write English, let's say I wrote it here, this is in uppercase or capital letters. Notice that each letter retains its shape no matter where that letter is within the word. If you go to the lowercase letters or small letters, then uh, it's the same case. I mean, each letter in the sentence retains its shape. It doesn't change its shape. That's one fact. <coughs> uh, it's not so in Arabic. Uh, the next fact is that in English, if I write a sent, uh, if I want to say my name is Kamran, then I'm going to use four words and each word is going to be separated by a space. My name is Kamran, of course. Uh, um, if, I, if I write it in Arabi, or Arabic, then I'm going to write something like this, uh, which says Ismi Kamran. I should have written it in English as well. So let me do that very quickly for you in blue. All right. This is Ismi. This is an S. Ismi Kamran. Read, read this way. Each word I'm writing for your convenience in this direction. The word is the same as in English in this direction, but the overall sentence is read in this direction. So this says Ismi Kamran, which means my name is Kamran. So my name is these three words my name is is every is is condensed into this one small word is me it's a mini sentence this concept exists in uh, german and norwegian there's many sentences which don't have space in them and they are just one word which means a long sentence in english uh, yeah so this is the second fact about arabic so the first one was that the letters change their shape and the second is that uh, we have many sentences. All right, so the format of this lesson is going to be that I'm going to show you a letter. First of all, make sure that we are going to read from right to left uh, and I'm going to show you a letter on the rightmost here its actual original shape, individual shape. Then I'm going to show you how it looks like when it's part of a combined word or, or, a, or a, uh, uh, a, compound, a, com a, com a compound or a word which is made up of several letters. So how would it look like? <coughs> in the beginning, how would it look like in the middle of the word? How would it look like in the end of the word? of the word all right so let's start bismillah bismillah rahman rahim so the first letter is alif and it looks like a single standalone alif if if you write any word with it so i wrote here allah which is the name of god this is the actual name and there are of course many other characteristic names Asma as sifat but uh, here this is the this is the real name Allah and you see here in the I'm going to use the blue pen to to highlight where the uh, the letter appears 
the the letter alif does not appear in the middle of any compound word it's always it's a stand alone so i've shown that it uh, nothing nothing I've, I've i've not shown anything here then comes the end of any word constructs for example alif would be if it's the uh, at the end of a compound word it would be like this like ba and alif ba uh, and if it cannot be joined to something then it would just appear as a standalone and this is a very special case this is lam alif and in this case lam is this part and alif is actually this part and occasionally you will see hamza on this alif indicating this is an alif so in this case this is the alif part here which i've shown all right so if it's the, if if alif is at the end of the word it would look like this as here and so on and so forth then we go to ba and i i want to keep this video very short so let's hope it we finish it in half an hour okay so ba standalone is like this if it appears in the beginning of a word it looks like this as in here i'll cut it off here this is ba ba seen me three letters in a word this is when it appears in the middle of the word uh, as i show here i cut it off so this is ba all right uh then if it appears at the end of any word it appears like this uh, if it is going to be joined with something if it's not going to be joined with anything then it just appears as stand as standard on letter and this principle is going to be there throughout all the letters so i'm not going to write this individual letter again uh, uh in the rest of the examples <coughs> excuse me so here you see uh, ba is joined to ta so here is your ba and here is your ba again ra and ba then comes ta uh, ta uh, it's if it's it's in the beginning of the word just like ba it has the same shape uh, i could have combined ba uh, ba ta and tha in one example but i in this in this lesson i've I've, I've given individual examples for each of them so here is your ta sorry ta mim ra then if it appears in the middle of the word then it appears something like this as here I'll, i'm going to cut it off of the lam if it appears at the end then it looks like this and here is the cut off you will see it like this uh, ta can also appear like this which is called ta marbuta ta marbuta and uh, uh, it is it's also called round ta and another case is sometimes it appears like this at the end of the word and and here are the examples so this is the word meme Uh, this is uh, this is the letter mim ta ha ra and ta here is your ending ta and there is another example this is fa zad and here is the cut off uh, place where you see this ta here all right so then goes uh, the next letter which is ta just like ba and ta the beginning is like this and here is your ta right here in the beginning if it's in the middle it looks like this kha ta like here kha ta ba and if it's at the end it will look like this ba ta very good let's move forward 
we have uh, gym so I'm going to save this file as well so I don't mess up the original file all right so gym gym can appear like this in the beginning if it's in the middle it's like this so if it's in the beginning uh, it will look like this and I can show you here gym scene gym scene dal and here it is if it's in the middle then it will look something like this so I'm going to cut off here here and here so you have alif meme gym dal so this is this gym is in the middle of a construct then if it's at the end it will look something like this if it's not joined with anything and it's still in the end then it will just appear as the standalone letter which I've not shown here you have ta and jim like this so this is your ta connected with jim same goes for ha we have ha in the beginning so this is ha sin ha sin dal if it's in the middle of the word it will look something like this here we have here oh sorry here so alif lam ha this is your ha here ha meem dal so i can rewrite that for you if you if you if it's a bit of now i've stretched the letters a bit so you can see that ha is here oh sorry this is ha cutting here alhamdu then is uh, if it appears at the end then it looks like this for example ta is connected to ha like so jim ha and then comes kha so kha exactly like jim and ha in the beginning like this so this is the word khalid so kha alif lam dal so notice that alif here is at the end of the word it, it appears connected this line is never going to be alif because alif can never connect in, uh, to a letter uh, in front of it it has to be after it so this is lam this is the principle to identify alif and lam in this example both are there although this is an example for kha or khalid uh, sorry not kha this is an example for kha in the beginning uh, then comes kha in the middle so here it looks like this and you cut it off here and here and then you get your kha here ta ta kha ta then is uh, another construct which is if kha appears at the end of the word then it looks like this uh, and here we have noon and kha and noon is just until here and then comes kha all right very good let's move on to dal this is the individual dal it remains individual as in the beginning uh, like so uh, just like that dal ya noon and here is your dal right here uh, then in the middle dal normally doesn't appear in the middle even if it's a compound word then wherever dal appears it's going to be the end of the compound uh, word uh, or at least a part of it and then the word will continue but nothing will connect uh, after dal it will be an individual letter or some other letter it will not be connected to dal so here we have dal at the end it looks like this and here we have alhamdu 
Alif, Lam, Ha, Mim, Dal at the end. Uh, yeah, all right. So, Dal has the same rules as Dal. Actually, Ra and Za also have the same rules. So, Dal appears like this. Here is your Dal. Uh, dal, Nun, Ba. Here, we don't have anything in the middle. Uh, here, we have Dal appearing at the end of the compound word, which is uh, here looks like this so I'm going to cut it off here Alif Kha Dal then we have Ra Ra appears just like Dal appears individual in the beginning of the words this is Ra and Ba and then we don't have anything in the middle and then we have something now here it is um, appear it appears in the middle of course but the compound construct is this is one word but here is the construct where it appears at the end and this is how it looks like so this word is ar rahman so yeah so i will cut it off here alif Lam, Ra, Ha, Mim, Nun. Then comes Za. So Za appears individual as an individual letter in the beginning of the word, like Za here. Ain, Mim. And Mim can sometimes look like this, and sometimes it will be just like the Mim here. So I, I'm uh, Urdu is my native language. Sometimes I confuse meme with like this long meme. Uh, you can fix it by just like this. Yeah. So a meme will appear like that. All right. So za if it appears at the end, it looks like this. And here there's a compound word. It's it's, uh, it's one word overall, but it has two small constructs both have za at the end so here is za here there is another za so ain za ya za then comes uh, seen uh, seen looks like this in the beginning of the word here is seen and if i cut it here so this is seen ba Ha, sabbih, sin, ba, ha. If sin is in the middle, it looks like this. So here is sin, ba, sin, mim. And we have ain, sorry, uh, if the sin appears at the end of the word, it looks like this. And I'm going to cut off, cut it off here like so so this is oops this is ein ba sin i can write it in a in a bit extended stretched fashion so here is your sin right here all right then is sheen same same rules as seen uh, in the beginning it looks like this in the middle like this and in the end like this so in the beginning we have this sheen or raw or in the middle we have it like this so there is your sheen right here in the middle ba sheen raw and then we have sheen at the end like so, ein, ya, sheen. I can write it in a bit stretch form for you. Like so. So here's your sheen right here. All right. 
Then comes the next letter which is Saud. So Saud is here and we have uh, in the beginning it looks like this, beginning of the word, middle of the word looks like this, end of the word looks like this. So beginning of the word like this is Saud here, Saud, Ra, Alif, Ta. So here's your Saud. Here it appears in the middle, alif, ta, sod, lam. So I'm going to cut it off here and here to show you that where is sod, right here. And then here it appears at the end, alif, lam, mim, sod. And here is your sod. Here. All right, so then comes Zod. Zod is uh, in the beginning just like Zod and Sin and Sheen. It looks like this. I mean, the shape is different, of course, not like Sin and Sheen, but the principle is same. So here we have Zod, Aleph, Ra. So I'll, I'll cut off here to show you where Zod is. Then in the middle of the word, looks like this. It has this loop and a small uh, rise here, a small blip. So Ghan, Zod, Ba. I'm going to cut it off here and here to show you where Zod is. Then at the end of the word looks like this. So this is the word Ba, or letters Ba, Ya, and Da. I'm going to cut it off here to show you where Zod is. All right. Then we have Ta and Ta appears uh, like so in the beginning of the word. Here we have the word or the letters Ta and Ba. I'm going to cut it off here to show you that you have your Ta here. In the middle of the word it looks like this. So we have Ba and Ta and lamb. You cut it off here and here to show where ta is. Then we have seen, ba, ta. And ta looks like this when it's at the end of the word. And here you have, right here you have your ta. Then you have your za. Uh, individually, like, uh, it looks like this individually. Uh, in the beginning of the word, looks like za, uh, like so. So these letters are za, ra, and fa. And I'm going to cut it off here to show you where is za, separate, uh, connected to ra. All right, in the beginning of the word, uh, sorry, beginning, in the middle of the word, it looks Zha look like, looks like this and this is Ain, Zha, Ya, Mim. Ain, Zha, Ya, Mim. So this is part of my name. This is Allah's, uh, uh, first of all, it's Allah's uh, uh, characteristic name, Azim, it means great and this is also part of my name Muhammad Kamran Azim so yeah <laughs> so here you have your za in the middle of this word at the end of this uh, at the end of any word za appears like so so I'm going to cut off and show you that this is ya and za very good then comes Ain. Looks like this in the beginning of any word. Uh, and here it is. Ain, Ba, Dal. So you have your Ain right here. Then comes uh, middle of the word. Looks like this. Notice that it has changed its, its, its uh, shape. Like this shape. It has changed to this in the middle of the word. 
So this is here. Noon, Ain, Ba, Dal. Okay, so Ain is in the middle of this this construct. If it's in the end of the word, it may look it will look like this. And it may also look like this in some way of writing. So remember, there are many ways of writing Arabic. So there is a Middle Eastern way, there is African way, there is Egyptian way, there is Kufi, which is Iraqi way, there is a Asian way, which is Pakistan and India. And there are so many ways of writing, but it's just very, very small minor differences. Anyhow, so where was I? Yes. So here we have Ayn at the end. So these letters are Meem, Noon and Ayn. Then is Ghain, same principle as Ayn. It appears as like, uh, it appears like so in the beginning of the word, which is here. This is Ghain, Ya and Ra. Here's your Ghain. And in the middle of the word looks like this. So we have Rain right here, Meme, Rain, Vod, Vow, Ba. Then we have another. Uh, uh, then, then if Rain appears at the end of the word, it looks like so. It may also looks like look like so, but let's cover this one. This is right here, Ba, La, Rain. All right. Fa. Fa looks like this when it appears in the beginning of the word. Uh, like so. Here's your fa. Fa, ra, dha. If fa appears in the middle of the word, it looks like so. Here it is. Ya, sheen, fa, Ayn. So here's your fa. If fa appears at the end of the word, it looks like so. So here it is. Kha, ra, ya, fa. Here's your fa. Okay, next comes of. Of appears like so in the beginning of the word, like here. Qaf, ba, ra. Here's your qaf right here. If it appears in the middle of the word, it looks like so. And here is this construct. Uh, ta, qaf, ba, lam. And then if it appears at the end of the word, it looks like this. And here it is right here. Fa, ra, ya, qaf. This is your qaf. And here's the, oh, sorry. Here's the qaf right here. All right. Then comes kaf. <coughs> Excuse me. Kaf can appear in two different forms, either of these. Uh, and it will be used interchangeably depending on uh, different words. So in the beginning of the word, it may look like this as half part of this one as here kaf kaf ra ha that's your kaf right here it can also appear something like this actually let me rub off a little bit of this here something like this yes so here it this calf is connected with an alif so it's it's very hard to draw a line here so it's like something like this so calf alif lam fa ra alif sheen actually i could have reduced this word to a simple word which is kafir yeah so i could just instead of this I can say oops kafir 
Kafir is someone who does not obey. That's a general term for anybody who's not obeying the laws and the commandments of Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's called Kafir. And anybody who obeys Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Muslim. So that's the difference. Anyway, so this is Kaf. If Kaf appears in the middle then of the word, then it appears like this, like this word Yakun. So here is Ya. We sorry, blue. Here is Ya. We very short. Ya and Kaf. Yes. So Ya, Kaf, Noon. I can stretch it for you a little bit. So I can say Ya, Kaf, Noon. Just to make it a bit easier. So here and here. Right? Alright. Ya, Kaf, Noon. And then if Kaf appears at the end of the word, normally it appears like this. That's why I showed you something like this here in the beginning. So this is a way. So this is Meme, Alif, Lam, and then you cut it off here to get your Kaf. Meme, Alif, Lam, Kaf, Malik. All right. Then comes Lam. Uh, in the beginning of the word looks like this. And here is your lam connected to ra. So lam, ra, ba. If lam appears in the middle of the word, it looks like this. It's an elongated line. That's your lam right there. Of, lam, ba. If lam appears at the end of the word, it looks like this. As... Uh, like so. Alif, Saad, Ya, Lam. Right? Then is Meme. Sometimes Meme is written like this. Sometimes Meme is written like this. Most of the time, this is the way you will see it in the Quran. So, if it's in the beginning of the word, looks like this. And here it is. Meme, Alif, Lam, Mal. Um, then, if Meme appears in the middle of the word, looks like this. Alif, Lam, Ha, Meme, Dal. So, Meme is right here. That's your Meme here. Alhamd means the prayer or the, the, the praise. Okay, so if meme appears at the end of a word, uh, it looks like this. And here is uh, a construct for you, and here's your meme. It says Ra, Ha, Ya, Meme. Rahim. That's also the name of Allah, the one of the characteristic name. All right which means a, uh, a very loving. All right. Then we have noon. We are almost at, uh, we have reached almost the end of these letters. So noon looks like this in the beginning of the word. It's almost like ba, right? But ba has the dot at the bottom. This has the dot at the top. So this is noon. And here is your noon right here. Noon Ain Meme. Here Noon is in the middle. If it's in the middle, it looks like this. And here is Noon. Jim Noon Seen. So remember this line which I make here is just to highlight the position. It this this line doesn't have any meaning right now. Alright, so if noon comes at the end of the word, it looks like this. Here is an example. We have da, dal, sorry, da, dal, ya, noon. 
right so then we have vow last three four letters vow is uh, looks like this just standalone vow as here right here vow seen ta now vow doesn't appear in the middle of any word uh, it may appear as here you see this vow in the middle of this whole word but Notice that if it's part of the construct, then it is still looking like this. There's nothing connecting after it. Anyhow, so we have a word here which, which says Qalu. So Qaf, Alif, Lam, and you cut it here to get your vowel. Right? Then we have Ha. It looks like this and it also looks like this. Most of the time it will look like this in the beginning and in the middle of the words. So this is ha, ha and lam. If it's in the middle of the word, it has this shape. So here you have lam, ha, cut it off and then meme. So here's your ha right here. And then if it's uh, ending, it has two different endings. Uh, if it is connected to a preceding letter like here, then its shape looks like this. If it cannot be connected with any, any letter which is preceding it, but it still appears in the end, then it just keeps its uh, original shape just like this. So here we have fa, ya, ha, fi means in and then we have uh, this ha this is again a, a, a word would you who you might would you so uh, wow jim wow ha this ha is at the end here then comes hamza which is a special character it is used to give jerks to sounds so here we have Hamza can appear in the beginning of the word like so and as an individual or it can appear on top of Alif as here Alif Hamza Lam Meem If it's in the middle of the word it can again maintain its shape or it can look like so or so or so and I've given all the examples here so here is one example. This is Lam Alif with a Hamza again. Right here. This is Alif and Hamza. Uh, we have Ain Alif and then it is Hamza and Lam and Alif. Ailan. So this Hamza appears like so. Then here, this is one construct where it looks like so uh, yeah let me move this around a little for you yeah all right so this is if hamza appears at the bottom in the middle of the word it looks like this here you have um, something like this here's your Hamza right here and Hamza can also appear in the middle of the word like so and here you have this ba Hamza scene it's very small I need to cut it here and here this Ba, uh, Hamza, and Sin. This is not Ain, this is Hamza. Ba, Hamza, Sin. And Hamza can uh, appear at the end. Again, it would be standing alone, like so. This is Ghain, Tha, Alif, Hamza. Then the last letters, Ya. And these are just two different ways to write them. Uh, you will very rarely see this. It's just used for beautification. So if Ya appears at the beginning of the word, it looks like this. 
and here is an example ya wow mean ya wow mean if ya appears in the middle of the word it looks like this ra ha ya and mean there's your ya right there if ya is ending in uh, in any word then it may have different forms um, uh, this is the most uh, logical form which you may have uh, you may figure out so this is just a ya with an ex extended line like the previous letters this is a special way of writing ya and this is also ya it can appear like this so i have given you all examples here so this is the first example ya ba noon ya bani bani adam bani adam bani israel and so on bani adam this is bani ba noon ya this is fa and ya so this is fa and ya sorry here fa and ya this one this this is uh, these two examples are for the last version as you see this is standalone ya which is here the and ya right here but here it's connected to lam and lam and ya it, it may look like this it may also look like this all right so it's both possibilities so there you go you have all the letters covered uh, from alif till uh, till ya and you now know the different shapes if you're wondering what is coming next then of course the next lessons would be the various combinations of of these letters and as i've shown them here in examples um, like this word this word this word this word then you will see these words and then you will be required to practice them to identify these words in a word and it will take a couple of not couple some weeks and uh, it it may take uh, a few months so i'm teaching my children and my younger child uh, who is five five years old is is uh, is now at uh, three letter words so he's uh, no sorry two letter words he's still going through the the movements sound movements a e u and an in un anyhow so i don't i won't don't want to take much of your time but these shapes are important and they are going to help you a lot a lot in all of the next lessons so go through them as much as you want uh, make sure you master them uh, and uh, it's not necessary to absolutely uh, master them uh, uh, right now because the next exercises will will help you master these uh, these things this is just to help you identify the letters in in the words all right so shukran assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh